Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome. So today, I decided to do something completely different than what I normally do, and I thought we would talk about boobies. So a lot of you know, if you have been following me, that I have worked with plastic surgeons the past about probably 10 years. Um, I get a lot of questions about breast augmentation, fillers, Botox, things like that. So I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to talk about a boob job, AKA breast augmentation. So before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know, this is just my opinion. It's kind of something I wish I would have told my younger self. So when I got my breast augmentation, I believe I was like 22. So I was very young. I was uneducated about breast augmentation. I didn't think about the consequences or how it would be like when I became a mom or 10 years down the road, breastfeeding, things like that. So I just wanted to share my journey regrets that I have, things I would have wish I would have known, um, just to put that resource out there and help everyone because when I got my breast augmentation, I just didn't do the research. I didn't ask too many questions, I guess. I just didn't know all the facts. So I wanna help you guys out, so I hope this helps. So again, I wanna start by saying that this is just my opinion. I am all about plastic surgery. If it makes you feel better, do it. I know a lot of people don't agree with it, but you are your own person. If you are uncomfortable with your body, if there's something that you can fix that will give you more confidence and make you feel better about yourself, I say 110% go with it. And for me, I had like a size B cup. Um, looking back, honestly, I had great boobs. And I think that's one thing that I wish I would have told my younger self is, hey, you have great boobs. You do not need to get breast implants. Um, but at that time, I was young. I just wanted them to be fuller. But that is just a natural thing. When you have smaller breasts, even bigger breasts, if you don't have implants, you're not gonna have the volume up top that you would get with implants. So that's what I wanted, just to fill out bathing suits better. Um, I've always been kind of curvy, so I just felt like for me it would fit my body better and give me more confidence. So from the time I was little, I just, not little, I would probably say since I was like 13, I just knew I wanted to get breast implants. So I did end up choosing to get breast implants, not thinking about later on down the road um, when I became a mom or when I had to get surgery again. So I just wanna let you guys know how my experience was. So for me, I only met with one plastic surgeon. I was just so excited to be able to have this surgery. I was paying for it on my own. I just wanted to jump in and get it done. So I did not do my research. So that is the number one thing is please, please, please make sure you do your research. Pick a board certified plastic surgeon and make sure they vibe well with you. Make sure it's a good fit. Look at tons of before and after photos so you know that you're gonna get the results that you want. So for me, the surgeon that I went to, he was board certified, he was well known around Denver, but he was known for doing very large breasts. And I let him choose the size for me and that was a huge mistake. Um, I had a B size breast before and they were nice and perky, they were cute, but I have always been kind of a curvy girl and I thought larger breasts would just make me more confident, go with my body shape. I just wanted to fill out my swimsuit tops better and dresses better, but honestly, it is the complete opposite. So if you know anything about breast implant sizes, the surgeon talked me into a 650 and that is huge. It is a huge implant. And so I went from a size B to a double, sometimes triple D, so I have very, very large breasts. Um, and I thought it would give me the confidence that I want and was looking for, but it actually did the opposite. So my breasts are so large that when I buy a bra, they actually usually like will spill over the top of the bra. So I look like I have four boobs. So I cannot even tell you the last time I wore a normal bra. I always wear um, sports bras. I don't like to show cleavage. Um, even the little bit amount that I'm showing right now makes me uncomfortable because my breasts are so large. I feel like they're just so out there. I have a hard time fitting into swimsuits. I have a hard time fitting into clothes. So for me, I wish I would have done my research on sizes and asked 
um, you know, what can I expect from different sizes of implants? So I definitely am going to have surgery again and go way smaller. So hopefully that will give me my confidence back instead of completely covering up, um, my body. Don't regret getting a breast augmentation. I just wish I would have gone smaller. I wish I would have met with other plastic surgeons um, just to know what to expect because I know I probably wouldn't have picked the surgeon that I went to. And another thing is I didn't have the best experience with my surgery. So after surgery, I remember my breasts were like up to here, which they did tell me to expect. And you have to kind of push them down into the pocket. Um, so I remember I was pushing them down and all of a sudden I felt like a leaking and I was like What is that and I started freaking out and my incision busted open? So I ended up having to go back into surgery um, They had to flush it all out. They had to culture it to make sure there wasn't an infection And then I had to get it sutured back up. So that definitely was not a great experience for me Like you don't want to have surgery and then have to go back into surgery you just expect that you're gonna have your breasts done and everything's gonna be great I ended up after I had the second surgery because the incision opened um, the surgeon left the sutures in way too long I don't know if he thought leaving them in was better because he didn't want it to rupture again or to break open again but I do have like a little indention where that incision is and like a railroad mark um, from the sutures or the staples or whatever he used. So it's not cute. I don't like it. It wasn't the best experience. I mean, you can't see it unless you lift my boobs up. But another thing is um, with the whole experience is I kind of have... Um, one of my implants dropped a little bit lower than the other. So when I lift my arms up high from the side, you can see where my boob is and then where the implant is. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong with breast augmentation. So definitely know that there are things that can happen. Again, do your research and just be prepared that not every surgery is going to be perfect. Um, things can get botched. Things can go wrong. You can have an infection. People can lose nipples. There are a lot of things and working for plastic surgeons the past 10 years, I have seen and heard a lot. So again, this video, I just want to put that resource out there. I know a lot of women want to get breast augmentations and don't know who to ask or where to turn. So I hope that this helps you guys when making your decision. So again, I don't regret it. I just wish I would have done more research with it. Um, but yes, number one regret during the process was just not meeting with additional plastic surgeons. Number two regret is um, not doing my research on the implant size and letting the surgeon pick the size for me because 650 is huge. Number three that I wish I would have told my younger self when getting this done is to ask questions about breastfeeding and motherhood and 10 years down the line. So I got my breast augmentation done I believe when I was 22 and I'm 33 so I've had them done 10 or 11 years I think I need to go back and double check that um, just to be a hundred percent so when I got them done I wasn't thinking about breastfeeding down the line or having kids down the line I was just excited to have my breasts done and have big perky beautiful breasts so um, and I do remember the surgeon telling me if you go under the muscle you shouldn't have an issue breastfeeding and so I was like okay that's the only info that I need I was like sign me up where do I sign let's go in for surgery so I wish I would have told my younger self to ask more questions, be more prepared, and honestly, I wish I would have waited until after I have kids. If you have not had kids yet and are planning on having kids and planning on breastfeeding, I highly, highly suggest that you wait to get breast implants until after you are done having kids. Because I think a lot of women think that if they get implants, even if they breastfeed, that their boobs are still gonna be perky. That is not the case. Let me just tell you, I feel like my boobs sag down to my belly button. <laughs> Maybe not that bad, but they're saggy. So your natural boob is still going to droop. So my implants are where they're supposed to be, but my natural breast from breastfeeding two kids is very droopy and saggy. So I wish that I honestly would have waited to get a breast augmentation done until after I had kids because I need to get my implants exchanged, I want to go way smaller, and I need to get a lift from breastfeeding. So if you do think it's going to keep your boobs perky, 
it will not gravity is still gonna kick in you're still gonna get droopy breasts and I don't have all that volume up top like I used to it might look like it now because I have a sports bra on but I don't I have very saggy breasts from breastfeeding a lot of other questions I get from women are about implants and breastfeeding and what my experience was so once I decided to have kids I was really nervous about if I would be able to breastfeed or not and I understand breastfeeding is not for everybody I'm not here to judge if you bottle feed or breastfeed as long as the baby is getting fed do what is best for you and your baby for me I wanted to try to breastfeed but I knew if it didn't happen that obviously I would formula feed and that would be fine um, but I was nervous having implants what if I couldn't breastfeed what if I wasn't producing enough milk um, so I had all these things going on in my head so I am very lucky I had no problem at all breastfeeding my boobs actually overly produced milk and were crazy milk shooters like I would leak through everything so I like overly produced milk so implants did not affect um, me breastfeeding whatsoever so I'm very happy about that um, but it is different for everybody some people I've heard do have issues with it but I do wish I would have told my younger self to wait until after you have kids um, because I do have to go through surgery again anyways um, I do want to go with a way smaller implant I do need to get a breast lift so once I am 100% done with kids I'm going to be doing a little mommy makeover and I need to get all this fixed and lifted and just make it look nice so again I'm not here to tell you don't do it don't get a breast augmentation because I'm 100% for doing plastic surgery and things that will make you more confident and make you happy I just want to make sure I put that resource out there and let you guys know how my experience was and things I wish I would have told my younger self since I did get my breast augmentation um, when I was pretty young another thing too um, that I want to mention is if you're younger and you get breast implants, you don't think about when you're older or if you gain weight. And just know that if you gain weight, your breasts are gonna get larger. So for me, I obviously am not the size that I was when I was 22, I wish. Um, I've gained weight, I'm curvier, and the larger your implant is, the larger your breasts are, the more heavier you look. So for me, a lot of times, even when I'm down to the weight that I want to be and I feel really good about myself, my breasts look so big, I still feel like I look overweight because my boobs are so huge. So just know that if you get a large implant and you gain weight down the line, your boobs are going to grow too. So just keep that in mind. I just want to mention that because I didn't even think about that. So my boobs have definitely fluctuated um, in size. They're definitely larger than they used to be just because I'm at a heavier weight now. Um, so yeah, I always feel like I look heavier because my breast size is so big. Another thing that um, you need to consider when doing a breast augmentation is the downtime and surgery. So when I was 22, I honestly didn't think about post-operative recovery um how my healing was gonna go being put under I honestly didn't think about any of that I was just like I want big boobies sign me up let's do it but surgery is a big deal so just make sure again that you know everything going into it and you have all the information you need because you will be put under you are being sliced open an implant is being put into your body there are sutures there's recovery time I follow a ton of plastic surgeons on social media I love plastic surgery I love working for surgeons I love keeping up to date with different techniques and things that surgeons are doing and there's one surgeon out of Beverly Hills that I follow and I think he calls it like flash recovery breast augmentation and the girls literally are like after surgery lifting their arms I don't know how he does it but that is fantastic because that's one thing that I remember is after surgery I don't think I could lift my arms like past here um, because you are going underneath the muscle you're very very sore I did I believe I got my surgery on a Thursday and was back to work on a Monday um, so I only took a few days off because honestly the level of pain wasn't bad I just couldn't really like lift my arms um, but I was at the time a receptionist for a cosmetic surgeon so I was just answering phones and stuff so it wasn't that big of a deal but if you're a hairstylist or you have to lift or are doing something just know that you're not going to be able to lift a lot you're not going to be able to lift your arms um, so post operatively there are things that you need to be aware of because it is surgery 
So kind of the moral of this video is I wish I would have been more happy and accepting with the body that I had. Um, I wish I wouldn't have jumped into getting a breast augmentation, not knowing what to expect 10 years down the line or um, things that could have gone wrong because I didn't have obviously the best experience. And I think there's this huge pressure um, nowadays obviously with society and social media to look perfect and to keep up with the nose jobs and the breast augmentation and lipo and this you know perfect body figure and you know what you are perfect the way you are I wish I would have known that when I was 22 I wish I would have accepted my body the way it was um, and I wish I would have waited to get a breast augmentation until after I had kids so that's just my personal experience again I am all about plastic surgery. I've worked with plastic surgeons for over 10 years, um, and I'm all about doing what makes you happy. But just know the grass isn't always greener on the other side. There are things that can go wrong with plastic surgery. Love yourself, love who you are, and just please weigh the pros and cons before you do go under the knife. Make sure you choose a board certified plastic surgeon. And again, if it is something though that you feel strongly about, that it's going to boost your confidence and you know you want, go for it. I am all about it. Again, I'm all about plastic surgery. I just wish I would have known more details and had more resources going into it. I wish I would have met with additional plastic surgeons before I would have gotten it done so I could have picked which surgeon was right for me. All right, so if you guys take anything from this video, this is what I want you guys to know um, after watching it is one, do your research, meet with as many surgeons as possible. Two, make sure you go to a board certified plastic surgeon. That is extremely, extremely important and I cannot tell you enough how important it is to have a board certified plastic surgeon. Three, do your research on breast implant sizes. Don't let a surgeon pressure you into a certain size. Don't let anyone choose a size for you. You do what is best for you. And for know what to expect. Um, if you are choosing to get a breast augmentation before you have kids and you plan on breastfeeding, ask a lot of questions. Make sure you have all of your information and are prepared for the future. Don't know what could go wrong with the plastic surgery. Ask your questions about breastfeeding, about motherhood, um, about when you're going to have to end up getting surgery again because that is one thing. You can't just get a breast augmentation and have those implants for the rest of your life. That is not a good idea. You're going to have to have reoccurring surgeries. Um, so just know your options, know what to expect, have all the information possible, and just have as many resources as you can. So I don't mean to be negative. I don't want this to come off as a super negative video. I just want to have that resource out there. And if you're meeting with a plastic surgeon that doesn't go over all the information with you, go to a different plastic surgeon because there are ones out there that will sit down with you and go over all of the information so you know your options. Um, so again, it's not that I regret having a breast augmentation. I just regret getting it done so young. I wish I would have just loved my breasts as they were. I wish I wouldn't have rushed into it and I wish I would have known my facts. I just wish that I would have waited until after having kids. So that is it for today's video. I know it's something completely different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have or give you advice or my opinion. I am not by any means a plastic surgeon or anything. I just have worked with them for the past 10 years. So I feel like I do have, you know, a good amount of information that I can share with you guys. So definitely comment below if you want me to answer any of your questions or if you would like to see any additional videos on plastic surgery or Botox or filler or anything like that make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you know the next time I post a video see you next time bye